BJP's veteran leader, P.S. Yadurappa, woke up to some shocking news today in Bengaluru. A POXO case was registered at Bengaluru's Sadashiv Nagar police station, which also included him under IPC section 154A. Now, this was a case with regards to a mother as well as a teenager. The mother is the complainant who said that she has been meeting Mr. Yadurappa often in terms of seeking help for a cheating case. She alleged that on February 2nd is when she met B.S. Yadurappa along with her daughter and her daughter was taken into the room by Mr. Yadurappa and that is where the incident seems to have taken place. She has charged him of sexually assaulting the child. The child is a 17-year-old daughter of this complainant. This was the news that broke this morning and all news channels were thronging the residence of Mr. Yadurappa. The Home Minister of Karnataka, G. Parmeshwara, said that yes, a complaint has been registered and that the investigation will take place and he has also denied any kind of political conspiracy in this. This is a sensitive case and further details should emerge only once the investigation is over. Mr. Yadurappa, in the meantime, has denied all these allegations. He has called all of them baseless. He did narrate the story of how the mother and child came to him for help. He had even assisted them with some financial help. And he had also called the cops, especially the commissioner of police in Bengaluru, to help them out with some of the cheating cases that she had apparently filed in the past. What we also hear is that she had urged B.S. Yadurappa to form an SIT to help her with those cheating cases. B.S.Y.'s office in the meantime had also insinuated that she has a history of filing cases. In fact, past records show that around 53 cases were booked on cheating by this same complainant. All eyes are on the investigation, definitely a big setback for B.S. Yadurappa, especially when the election season is on in Karnataka. With camera person Govind Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV.